What's up folks, welcome back to Garage. If you have watched my earlier videos, you know that uh, the hood in this my GTI is not perfect. I did a huge mistake and uh, it's in quite bad condition and uh, it needs a new hood. In this video I will show you the damage and uh, then I have uh, a plan and I will tell you that plan after the intro. From this angle you can see how bad the situation is. <laughs> Uh, well, the wind hook is not attached, but you can see how much is in how how bent it is. And actually, from this angle, it's a bend from from there. As you can see, there's a huge huge bump in in there, and it comes from there and there. In this this there's uh, the worst place is that and it comes to here and uh, if I open, open the hood you can see there's uh, even damage damage here on this side and uh, on this side it's much much worse uh, you can see there's a crack in the windshield but it's an uh, old one uh, the hood didn't hit the hit the windscreen. What happened was that um, <clears throat> uh, maybe two or three years ago my son asked me to pick him up and I took this GTI and forgot to close the hood properly and I accelerated and when I hit about 80 kilometers per hour the hood came <laughs> up <laughs> and uh, it was a little bit terrifying situation. It went something like 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 this. I couldn't see anything. I just watched the road from from that gap. <laughs> um, I was a little bit fortunate, and um, you can see there's even damage here. This support which holds the hood open, it bent from here, and you can see that. It's uh, those tabs are opened. Actually, that might be uh, glue, body glue, but uh, the whole frame and uh, and uh, you can see the hood is actually broken from here. So I I think it's. At least I'm not able to fix this hood. I have a plan. I have noticed uh, one uh, old 205 by the road and I'm finding out the owner at the moment, but uh, I will tell you about my plans next. I, I have uh, actually plan, plan A and plan B and uh, my plan B <laughs> first well, I check uh, this uh, car Wikipedia in in Finland, car wiki, which is very very handy. There's um, knowledge about 205, and uh, it says here that uh, uh, 205 was manufactured in 83 to 98, uh, which is a quite long time, and uh, almost none facelifts in that time but in uh, 87 there were some major upgrades for example they uh, zinc the body and uh, they made the interior better and uh, 1.6 gti got 10 more ho horsepower and so on and in 1990 there were some changes in uh, gearboxes but my car is 88 so i'm looking for a 
hood after 87 which would be would be perfect and um, in Finland 205s are actually quite rare nowadays we used to have a lot there is uh, knowledge about yes uh, you can see how many 205s uh, was registered in Finland uh, 83 151 and it goes up until uh, 89 and uh, it dropped dramatically in 90s so actually in 88 it was 2463 so I think it would be still possible to find a uh, hood for my car uh, and uh, I hope I could find a red one <laughs> uh, first I tried to find a used one I uh, googled few pages of used car parts but for example in this first one Peugeot hood zero zero hits because they are getting a little bit uh, there is not so many 205s anymore and uh, then I had a second second place they have uh, 205 parts they have front axles uh, brake systems but body parts out of stock we, they don't have anything in that class but they have almost any <laughs> everything else which is uh, good to know uh, and then then i hit the autodoc and actually they might have new ones uh, 110 euros well i'm not so sure if this uh, accurate uh, knowledge but actually uh, but it could be possible to get the new one but uh, to my plan a uh, while i was driving to my parents house i noticed something by the road and you now you can see the picture i know this this car and i think it might be 205 what do you think and um, it was in the middle of nowhere but i took this picture and i marked my place to google maps and uh, i know a person in that area and i sent uh, that uh, picture and uh, the map uh, to my friend and now i actually know the owner of that car i haven't called uh, him yet but uh, i will do that next so uh, i hope that i can i can uh, announce you in my next video what what happened if i could manage to get that red hood but there is a possibility that that is not 205 it might be something else but it looks like uh, one <laughs> that's my opinion i actually got the name of the owner while I, I was filming the damage of the the hood so if in some point you notice that my uh, speak will uh, stop uh, for a while it means that in that point i got a whatsapp message from my friend <laughs> and he identified the owner of the car so it's uh, uh, that new information it's a little bit too late now to call the owner so i will do that tomorrow but i think i could make a short video when i know uh, what what the owner says and uh, i just have to make sure that that's uh, 205 uh, thanks for watching please give me thumbs up and comments down below that would be a great and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet now it's a perfect time to do that and also ring the bell thanks for watching and see you soon